Our first stop in Ottawa was the Canadian War Museum. The first exhibit we went to was for fashion. Basically everything here was an army print. Yes. Army print toilet paper, art. army print hat, and then... Hold on a tick? What on earth is that? I have a feeling I've seen that somewhere before. I knew it! <laughs> that dress is actually from Project Runway Canada, made by the designer Ado Jacke. And I actually got to touch it's it! so pretty! The other outfits weren't that nice, but like, hey, okay. what can you really do with army this print anyway? It's so pretty. When you walk into the real museum, you go down this really long hallway into this big circular space. I think it's kind of like a timeline thing. How you feeling? He's not even paying attention to me. It's Hitler's car. I'm 95% sure it is just a replica. I'm not really into war things, but it's interesting to get to know a bit of history. <laughs> My mom just farted. There was this really neat game called Where in Canada. I challenged John to uh, test his knowledge a bit on how well he knows our country. Well, copper. You have to Here. guess. You have to guess. <laughs> You're so useless. I think okay. it's pretty easy. Zinc? Because, you know, this is N and zinc, right? And this is N in Manitoba. Oh and also an I. So. See, when John gets something wrong, he just likes to move on to a different subject. And then when he gets something right, he's all like... See what I say. What oh my goodness. Okay, okay, this one. Well, I got all the answers right so far. Okay. Useless, okay, let's move on. Fishery, no. Guess what that dice reminds me of. It takes too, way too long to see. What? Guess, guess, guess. A dice? Jumanji! Oh my goodness, I'm gonna kill you so There's a section where they showed old packaged food. Oh my God, the ham was huge. so big, it was like the size of my face. It was so cute. I took a moment to appreciate how everything is displayed because in Toronto, our museum, well... The ROM's so crappy. Need I say more? There was this really cool simulation area where it kind of showed how you would feel during warfare, I guess. <laughs> That's my version of an airplane, but John didn't really appreciate it much. What kind of wimpy bomb noise? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look at him, big boy, right here. Can you imagine staring at that? Crazy ass. I'm so scared of machine guns. Deadly. Lots of tanks, lots of tanks everywhere as well. We the first time we ever came to the museum, yeah. 10 years ago, that was the first thing we saw. At the end of the museum, they okay, gave you, you this little draw? area where you could write, you know, a card just to show how much you appreciated being there, and what you liked, what you didn't <laughs> like, and uh, John and I decided to have some fun. We really went to town on that piece of paper, yeah. it took him a while. Just to make this. What is this? What is that supposed to mean? So useless. You know how when kids... They, they write their age of when they drew true. <laughs> there was also this wall of magnets with tons of words where you put them together and make phrases. <laughs> Ethnic cleansing and genocide. <laughs> the must for Armageddon. So bad food, so bad. So bad food, so bad. John likes to do a lot of inappropriate things. No food. Dirt. Ooh. Oh, oh, a game. Uh, yeah. I found another game. It's called Do You Measure Up To Be A Part Of ARMY? I wasn't very good at it, so I guess I'm not fit for ARMY then. What a perfect way to end the day, walking through a hall of tanks that are built to kill a bunch of people. Here's the fun bit where you get to continue to follow us on our journey. Click on the video on the left to see John's take of the War Museum, or click on the video to the right to see day two. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, possibly favorite, and subscribe. Have fun! No, <laughs> dirty.